Welcome to the Friendly Podcast Guide, sorting through podcasts so you don't have to. I'm Andy Smiley, and I want to help you discover the right podcast without having to listen to an entire episode. Now, let's talk podcasts. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Baby M is almost a year old, which is crazy. And let's be honest, my wardrobe has seen a better day. Between pregnancy and postpartum, my body has been all the shapes and all the sizes, and I am ready to take the reins back on how I dress, which is how I found the Everyday Style School podcast. Jen is the host, and she talks through how we can make our wardrobe work for us in ways that aren't overwhelming. Before we listen to the conversation I had with Jen, here are a few details about the show. The show description is, in the Everyday Style School, we believe every woman deserves to love the way she looks and that style can be easy and maybe even fun. You can ditch that closet full of nothing to wear and instead create a fabulous functional wardrobe that makes getting dressed a breeze. The Everyday Style School shares practical lessons you can use to make shopping and building a wardrobe super easy and yeah, we'll say it, super fun. The length of each episode is 20 to 30 minutes long, and it is kid ear friendly. The series is ongoing with new episodes available every other Thursday. Before we learn more about the vibe of the show, we are going to take a quick break to talk about the Friendly Podcast Guide on Instagram. If you don't know, the Friendly Podcast Guide has an Instagram account. Over there, I talk about fun things that I don't have time to talk about in the episodes, and I would love for you to join in the conversation at Friendly Podcast Guide on Instagram. Now we get to hear from Jen about her love of the word style and her dislike of the word fashion. I'm so excited to have Jennifer on the podcast today. Her podcast is the Everyday Style School, and I'm so excited that I get to talk to you, Jennifer. Well, thank you so much for having me. I think the concept of your show is incredible. There are so many podcasts out there and helping people find ones that are useful and are a good fit for them. Hats off to you. What a great idea. Thank you. Well, first of all, can you introduce yourself a little bit to us? Absolutely. My name is Jennifer Mackey Mary, and I am the owner of Everyday Style. My podcast is the Everyday Style School. I have been dressing women for over 20 years. I know how old that makes me, but I have been dressing women's bodies and just regular everyday women for two decades. And I've had my own styling business for a decade now. So, um, yeah, I just, we are on a mission to help women love the way they look and give them the tools to make it easy. That's really what our podcast is all about. That is fantastic and very useful. I feel like we all need a little, we need some pointers sometimes. And it sounds like that's exactly what your podcast does. Yeah. You know, it's funny because when I started my business, I kind of had this idea like women know how to dress themselves. It's easy. Everyone knows how to do it. Turns out they don't, right? <laughs> like we believe because we're women, we should have, it's like attached to a chromosome or something that, that ho- knows how to shop and knows how to put outfits together and knows how to dress our bodies. But the fact is we don't, that is not in our DNA. Uh, and it leaves us feeling really bad about ourselves. And we end up with these closets full of stuff and nothing to wear. And really the mission of my business is to help women live full, rich lives because they have the clothes for it. I think every woman that knows that moment where you're standing in your closet and you're having this total like wardrobe meltdown and nothing looks right. And you're trying to get out the door to go somewhere, somewhere that should be fun. And you have this moment that says, I just don't want to go. I don't want to go. Like that is so sad to me. These are the moments that we have to, we should have more of these moments in life, right? We should go to more dinners. We should go on more dates with our husbands. We should go on more girls nights out. We should, we should do more of those things. But when you don't have clothes that make it easy and fun to leave the house, you don't want to do it. I love that. So can you tell me, I feel like you kind of just touched on it, but do you want to dive a little deeper on what you want people to get out of your podcast? Yeah, we have two things we really want. The first one is to inspire women to love the way they look. It all starts with that. You know, you can say, I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to buy great clothes. I'm going to do whatever. But if you don't have the desire to love the way you look, you can buy all the cute things in the world. You're never going to wear them. So the first thing I want to do is inspire women to realize that when we like the way we look, we show up differently in the world. You know, if you're going to the park with your kids and you see that, you know, the cute mom at the park, the one who always has it together, when you feel like frumpy and dumpy, 
you don't want to go talk to her. And maybe she has kids who are exactly your kid's age and she could be like your bestie and you guys can, you know, drink wine while your kids play. And what a great friendship that would be. But if you feel bad about yourself, you're not going to make that connection. However, if you go and you're feeling cute, you strike up that conversation, you know, So uh, that's really the first thing that we want to do is just inspire women to realize that life is better when you like the way you look. And it doesn't have to mean that you are a slave to fashion and you have to replace your wardrobe every three months and all that good stuff. It can be really, really simple. And that's the second part. We want to give people the tools to make that easy. Every show we do, we hope that our listeners come away with actionable tips like, oh, I can go do that. Oh, I can go get rid of five things in my closet that make me feel bad. Or, oh, I can go look for these new spring trends that I'm seeing everywhere. So we just, we want women to realize that style isn't out of reach for anyone, regardless of your age, your shape, your size, your lifestyle, you know, whether you've got babies or kids who are flown and grown, style is accessible to everyone. But first of all, you have to want that for yourself. And then you got to, we got to make it easy. I love that. And what would you consider the vibe of your show? The vibe is really just real, real talk, real advice. It is not this sort of aspirational, super trendy fashion. As a matter of fact, in my business, everyone who works with me and for me knows that fashion is the F word to us. We don't say the word fashion. We hate that word because it's really unattainable to a lot of people. And it's intimidating. It's intimidating to me to read a fashion magazine. And I'm like, where am I going to wear this, you know, ruffled ball gown while laying on a horse? Like that's not, that's not where my life is. Right. (laughs) So we don't do fashion. We do style and style is personal and style is accessible to everyone. So that is really the vibe. It's just real talk for real women who live real lives in real clothes. That is perfect because that's all of us, right? We're all just trying to live our best life. So I know this is hard, but do you have a favorite episode or two that you can point my listeners to? Oh, goodness. Um, That is really, really hard. That is so hard. I can tell you that our our most downloaded episode is editing your closet like a pro. And that tells me that women have closets full of stuff and nothing (laughs) to wear, right? We have these closets that are a collection of clothes from who we used to be and who we want to be someday, maybe again, but we don't have enough stuff for the person that we are right now. So I think that that one is a really, really good one. Um, we have a couple of episodes on, on finding your personal style, which is where that's where clothes become really fun, right? Like when you see something that lights you up and you start to build a wardrobe out of things that just make you smile, that's when style becomes really fun. So I would say those episodes are good. And also every woman needs to understand how to dress her body. Every single woman needs to understand that because it helps you understand why some things work better for you than others and, and why you like some things more than others. And I don't believe that we have to get into this, like 10 rules for the pair body shape. And you have to follow these rules. Like, no, but I have this theory that women know what looks good on them. When you're in the fitting room, you know, you put something on and you're like, Oh, how good. Right. But you don't know how you got there. So every trip to the store, every time you shop, it's like, starting the process all over again. It's it's like finding a needle in a haystack. So when you know, oh, I like this for my pair body because it, you know, adds a little volume to my shoulders. Okay. Now I can look for that. Like that is when style is finding your signature style is when it becomes fun. Understanding your body is when it becomes easy. So I would start honestly with episode two of my podcast which is body shape basics. And then you can find your body shape from there and 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 just rock out, but, um, dressing your body, finding your style, cleaning out your closet. I love that. Cause that's, yeah, that's kind of like an on-ramp to like yep. figuring out your style and like how to look good yeah. and how to feel good. Yeah. Perfect. Um, okay. Is there anything else that we missed that you want to touch on? You know, I do want to just give a little advice. If, if women are listening to this show and they're like, I don't care about style. I think style is frivolous. That's cool. I, I understand some people feel that way, but I want to encourage women just to 
give it a listen. Why not? Right. My, my later episodes are like 20 minutes. Give it a listen. A lot of times we say we don't care about style because we don't know how to do style. And so we want to look better to go to the park. We want to feel better when we go on dates. We want to have a great outfit when we go on girls night, but we don't think it's accessible or attainable for us. So then we just tell ourselves, we don't care. It's frivolous. I don't care what I wear. And I think that that is a lie that we tell ourselves. Um, So if any of that resonates with you, I just encourage you to give it a listen. It doesn't mean that you have to go trade in all your flats and sneakers for high heels. As a matter of fact, I live in flats and sneakers. I encourage everyone to find what works for them, but there is such a huge impact as a mom, when you like it, the way you look, there's a huge impact, you know, when you like the way you look and you go out in the world, you're just more open and friendly to people. And so if you're stuck in a place where you haven't been feeling great about yourself, especially coming out of this pandemic, like a lot of people are there, give it a listen, give it a shot. I love that. And where can people find you? You can find me at youreverydaystyle.com. And from there, you can find the podcast. Just click on podcast or the Everyday Style School is on all the big podcast platforms. And you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Everyday Style with Jen. Okay, fabulous. I will put all of those in the show notes so people can just like click and head on over wherever they want to go. Thank you so much. This was such a fun interview. I feel like I'm excited for people to hear this because I think... Liking the way you look just makes everything a little bit easier and more fun. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I always tell people when you get up, when you get up in the morning and you get dressed, well, let's say you don't get up and get dressed. And at four o'clock, you realize that you need to go to the grocery store and you're still like lounging. You go, oh, going to the grocery store is so hard. If you're already dressed, it's just, oh, I have to pop over to the grocery store. Right. It makes life easier in so many little ways that you don't even think. So thank you for having me on. And thank you for this service that you provide because the podcast world is overwhelming and finding a way to make it easy to find ones you love. I think that's a fantastic service. Well, thank you. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you want to hear about more podcasts from me, please follow or subscribe on your podcast app of choice. I would also love to connect with you on Instagram at friendly podcast guide. So please go follow me over there. Talk to you soon. I am so excited to have Jennifer on the podcast today to talk about her podcast, Everyday Style. Is it Everyday Style? No, it's the Everyday Style School. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. That's okay. No worries. Wow. And redo. Yeah, seriously.